Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Jason from Atomic Mars and Tour Reviews. I'm here to present to you a review of the Marvel Universe Storm action figure. And here Storm is in her single card action. It comes with, uh, includes collectible comic shot, which is right here, which is not very cool. Um, very nice card art. I actually like this artist. I think he did a fantastic job on there. And of course we have the Storm logo going right across here in a gray and black. I managed to find this figure at one of my local comic shops. It's pretty cool. On the back here we have a modern Iron Fist, Psylocke, and Shadowland Daredevil. Like Deadpool telling you to collect them all. Now here's her bio, so feel free to pause it and read that if you want to. And here she is making, uh, making it rain um, on the back of the card. Pretty standard stuff from Marvel Universe, so let's get it open and check it out. Now, of course, Storm comes with two of these lightning effects that it has to her hands. It wouldn't be a Storm figure without some type of weather manipulation, so they, they gave her these uh, these lightning effect things. I'm not sure how well the camera's picking this up, but here they are. And here is the figure. Um, she kind of has a purplish-blue color um, costume. Her head sculpt looks really nice. I like the hair too. I like how it drapes down in the back. And of course her headdress along the front. And she has a solid black neck. I guess it's supposed to meld into her costume. And I also like her cape. I think the cape looks fantastic. I think it's a very good representation. Now the rest of her body is kind of blackish blackish colored legs except for her knees. Her knees are this the same like dark blue. There. She has a three point bend at the knee. Her hips go up and down like that. Now this is more of the classic Marvel Universe female body style. Uh, she doesn't have the thigh twist action like X-23 came with. And her ankles go up and down. They're not, I mean, they rotate but they don't go side to side. But you can make it so that she looks she looks like she's flying. So you just kind of straighten everything out here. And it looks like she's flying. But overall nice sculpt. Um, her leg is a little bowed right there, but you can just bend that back. And these just pop right on her gauntlets. Like that. Ow. You bend. Thunderstruck. So there she is. That's Storm. Um, this is the first Storm figure I've gotten. I never got the uh, giant size X-Men multi-pack, so I don't really have anything to compare it to. Um, I think she is a little bit different than that figure, and she's of course different than the uh, Mohawk one, the two-pack that she came out with with Nightcrawler. Um, as far as quality goes, I mean about what you would expect from Marvel Universe. There are some paint defects right here on our legs. Um, face isn't too bad. There's not too much splatter on the face. They did a pretty good job on that. But overall not bad. I think this is actually a really nice looking figure. Uh, really good representation of the character. And I don't, I don't know. I'm glad I held out for a Storm figure because I think this is a really good one. So there you have it. That's Storm from Marvel Universe. Now peace out.